guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first part of my vampire series. So while this is going to be heavily story integrated, um, we're obviously going to be exploring the vampires game pack in, you know, depth and everything. So we're going to be exploring the powers and stuff like that and seeing all of what the vampires have in store for us. Um, but because it is going to be very story driven, I feel the need to sort of explain this. Um, if you've heard of the books, the Moral Instrument series, or have heard of the TV show Shadowhunters, um, it's going to be loosely based off of that. Um, the way, the reason I say loosely is because this LP is going to be set prior to the events in the book. Um, it's going to be more closer to um, the Infernal Devices, if you're familiar with that line of books. Um, Shadowhunters, the TV show, is based off of the Mortal Instruments books. 10 out of 10 would recommend reading them. They're amazing. Um, so this is Camille Belcourt. She is, will be, in our time, um, the head of the New York Vampire Clan for a, a certain period of time. Um, but currently, we are set in the 1800s in London. So use your imagination. Let's pretend we're in London. Let's pretend it's the 1800s and the clothing is appropriate because we don't have a lot of those choices in The Sims 4, but um, that's fine. Camille is very cunning and manipulative, but because we're set in such an earlier time frame, we're going to be seeing her a little bit more vulnerable. We're going to be seeing a softer side to Camille. Um, and currently she is actually, she makes hats. She makes a lot of hats for other downworlders, and downworlders are vampires, um, fairies, werewolves, etc. Um, and there's different classifications in this whole Shadowhunters universe. You have the Shadowhunters who their job is to kill demons who try to enter the human world. Um, and then there's the demons, obviously. Very bad. No side likes them. And then there are the downworlders, which are all the other creatures. Shadowhunters are half angel, half human. Um, when we get witches, I will be having like a second season of this series focusing on my shadow hunters. So we will be seeing Clary and Jason, Alec, and everyone else. But for now, we are going to be focusing on Camille and her life prior to the shadow hunters. Um, so we are currently in her little house. I gave her like this little cottage. Um, I did get it off the gallery. I will go ahead and grab the name for you right now. Once it loads, it's this one. It's by Lily1311. It's very nice. It's kind of perfect. It's exactly what I wanted and needed. Um, it's, it's cute. It's cute and cozy and it is sort of Victorian looking, which is what I wanted. Um, cause this is perfect for Camille. Um, and then we do have this nice basement down here. Um, some rose petals. I had to save her house cause like I had some glitch issues, but, um, yeah, this is, this is her house. And I'm quite excited. So we're just be hanging out with Camille for today. Um, I do believe I already gave her a vampiric power. Yes, I must have. So she has the eternally welcome thing. So her energy is pretty low. I'm gonna I'm gonna have her go down here. We're gonna have her um, hibernate for a little bit and let her get that back up. Um, there are people currently in the town that she is well acquainted with. Um, one of whom we are going to be inviting over. We also need to hire... Um, before you do that, honey, let me go ahead. I need to hire a butler. Um, because she needs a subjugate. And a subjugate is... Do, um, butler. Is basically a human that the vampire drinks from regularly. So she's gonna need one of those. That feels very important. We're gonna go ahead and, um... Actually, can't I just do the, uh... Do a dark meditation. That should get your energy up a little bit. I love the dark meditation. It's so cool. Um, so her her butler is going to be her subjugate until she winds up getting um. What's her subjugate's name? Archer. Archer's her main subjugate. All right, she is feeling loads better. So we are going to go ahead and invite over someone that she knows. She does know, I only have four people presently in the town. Right now we have Woolsey Scott, we have Magnus Bain, we have Ralph Scott, and Alexi. Um, 
With Alexi, the relationship's more one-sided. Alexi has feelings for her, but she doesn't quite have feelings in return for him. He's 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 very manipulative and not in the way that Camille is. Um, she just yeah, she doesn't really care for him. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, however, she does quite care for. Um, he means quite a bit to her, and he oh honey, oh sweetheart, <laughs> what what is this? Oh my lord. I'm gonna have to give her a makeover off screen. I don't want to like take up this episode with the makeover already. Um, did he say he was coming over? Yes. And there's actually a secret about Ralph's and Wolsey Scott. Um, we don't have them yet, but they are indeed werewolves. They're very pretty to look at. Um, we're going to... Can't I just invite him in? Can I call him over or something? Like, I guess let's have a deep conversation with him. I'd rather you not go outside, though. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> He's coming inside. Won't you come into my royal chambers here? No, you're on my computer. We're gonna ask him about his day. Let's just get a conversation going with him while our maid cleans him, apparently. I know he's a werewolf and all, but come on, lady. Get out. We're, we're doing stuff right now. Ralph. Ralph, please. We're gonna go ahead and compare to Long Lost Love. Um, and their relation- and they don't have a relationship, but they are interested in one another, and it's incredibly taboo because, um, I gotta turn my volume down, man. Um, because vampires and werewolves aren't exactly supposed to be romantically involved, and that they have to keep it on the down low. So it's kind of like this whole Romeo and Juliet situation between them, where they have these feelings for one another, but they can't be open about it, which is, it's sad, and it's gonna be a turning point for Camille. Right now, he's the reason why she is softened. She has found herself caring for him and can't help it. So she's gonna go ahead and embrace him as well. Oh, go away, man. She doesn't want any company right now. Let's go ahead and ask him a risque question. And she has a lot of deep feelings for Ralph that she hasn't really gotten to explore yet. And for her, it's, it's kind of a new territory because... She's not supposed to want to be with- no, don't go outside, please. She's not supposed to want to be with a werewolf. You know, it's- let's go ahead and give them their first kiss. Oh, honey, stop that. My sweet girl, stop that. And this is actually the first time I'll be having my main character be someone who's not exactly very nice. Um, right now we're sort of seeing a softened side to her. We will be seeing other sides to Camille, though. Aw, this is adorable, though. Their first kiss. And the maid totally saw it, but Camille is past caring. She has genuine feelings for Ralph, and... and they're only getting stronger as it goes on. Oh, and now they're, like, making out. Um, they are not gonna be trying for a baby, because Camille does not have children. She only has children that she has sired. Which is clearly not him. Um, we're gonna compel him for a small drink. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. That's what the maid, or the butler is for. Why don't we go ahead and compel her for a small drink? You are our subjugate, after all. That's what you're here for. You have to do our bidding. Are you cooking for us? I should probably... 
get this woman a bed at some point. Because we definitely don't have one for her. Oh no, she's she's gonna bite him anyway. This is her super fancy uh, vampiric outfit, which I, I'm, I'm quite fond of, actually. She looks quite pretty in her vampiric form. Her dark form, if you will. She's she's a fancy woman. And I had to give her the hat because she does create hats for her other downworlders. And perhaps we will be seeing some of her creations around the town. Because it will be full of other vampires. And the reason I didn't have her living in the new town was because this fits London a little bit better. Um, but eventually we will be we will be living over there. But for now, we are here. Let's go ahead and kiss his hands, you know, we gotta make up for it a little bit. He's probably quite tired. Um, ooh, let's go woohoo in the coffin. Oh no, you don't like us. What's the matter with us? Marion? Before the next part, she's gonna get a, a little bit of a makeover. We might have to like do that on stream at some point, because I'm, I'm not digging the green hair. Maybe if she was like a fairy, but we don't have fairies yet, so that's not a thing. Once it becomes later in the day, we are going to head out. Um, we're gonna go to a nightclub, because there's usually like downworlder nightclubs around town. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like actually like the best woohoo there is. <laughs> Coffin woohoo. Look at her face. She's like so proud of herself. Come on, Ralph. Let's do this. Oh my god. The sound effects right now. The sound effects. I can't. I love that the hearts are purple. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. That must have been a good woohoo. Oh my god. I love it! I haven't actually seen like the coffin of woohoo for myself. Um, I've been kind of, you know, saving that because I wanted to see what was going to happen. Um, that's actually amazing. I love that they just like kind of tumble out on the ground with one another. That's adorable. <laughs> this is adorable, actually. I love this. Oh. <laughs> And this is like the only place they they can be themselves, you know, they can actually hang out together and not have to worry about what other people are going to say about them. Um, which, you know, it's nice. Come on. They're definitely not going to be trying for a baby. Um, let's go ahead, let's discuss our interests for a little bit. We have to kill some time here until we, uh, Get to nighttime. Let's go. Let's go skinny dipping together. Come on, Ralph. No one will have to know. And I wanted this episode to be a little bit chill. I wanted us to get a bit more of an introduction to Camille and who she is presently. She's just a hat maker right now. She is a vampire. Um, she's not as old as we know her to be in the Shadowhunters realm um, when we meet, like, Clary and Jace and such. But, you know, right now she's she's having events that will affect her later on. Come, come skinny dip with him. You need to just woohoo together. Oh no, you're supposed to stay. Let's, um, compliment his appearance. 
You look mighty foxy without your clothes on, sir. Ah, they're they're cute. It's kind of bad that they're cute, but uh, I I quite enjoy them together so far. <laughs> okay, he seems to think she's hilarious. Are you leaving us? We 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 don't like that idea. Even though she seems to have frozen. Well, he is leaving us. Um, I think we might be safe to travel. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna try. Um, hopefully if we get inside quick enough, it'll be fine. If it'll let me. There we go. Um, I did place down... Oh, that's right. I didn't save. Just irritating. Because yeah, that's not it. Um, let's go to the discotheque. Um, I had an error my last game. Well, not my last game, but like I was trying to load this in to save some lots and such. Um, we're just gonna bring everyone with us that we know. Um, and like I got them to the lot, and instantly, uh, Lexi started burning to death. Like he was actually dying. It was incredibly random. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Um, but, hey, <laughs> I guess. So I had to kind of, like, I had to exit the game without saving. So, like, it's not there anymore, and I totally forgot to replace the lot. But the discotheque is fine. We can go here. Yeah, we're still, uh, we gotta get inside. Um, let's, let's go here together, and hopefully that should get everyone in there. Bella Goth is, uh, Breaking it down. Let's get all my vamps in there, please. Thank you. Because Alexi looks like he's here as well. So I kind of want to introduce you guys one by one to these characters. I created all of these guys on stream. So if you guys came to my live streams recently, you definitely saw these guys being created. Um, I did create him off screen though. So this is Alexi De Quincy. He is a vampire. He's very old. He's very rich. He's incredibly manipulative and he is the leader of the London vampires. Um, he has blonde hair, black eyes. He, he's, he's not quite in love with Camille as much as he is infatuated with her. He's very sort of in love with the idea of her and wanting to be with her. Um, to where he's kind of become obsessed with her. He's kind of like this crazy stalker type of guy. And um, he's just, he's not a good guy. We're going to be seeing a lot from him. And he's hes not a good guy. Um, over here we have Woolsey Scott. Who is Ralph's younger brother. He is also a werewolf. They come from a family of werewolves. Um, and they, uh, they all kind of run in the same crowd, I guess you could say. Around this time era, Camille was very close with the Scott brothers, specifically obviously Ralph, um, but this is his younger brother, who he will become important later on. And this is my version of Magnus Bane. I think he came out really nice. He has the blue sparkly eyeshadow and eyeliner, and uh, it's not the clothing isn't as flamboyant as I would have preferred for Magnus, but um, I do think it came out pretty nice. Regardless, especially for the time era. Um, and then back here, here, here's a close-up of Mr. Ralph. And you can see his bite marks from where Camille just bit him. Um, but I think he's quite lovely to look at. Um, we're gonna change Camille's dress. Because I feel like this is too formal. Um, especially just to be at a club. A lot of her stuff is too formal. Let's go with this one. This is a little bit too modern, but you know, we, we can roll with it. And uh, she looks kind of drop-dead gorgeous in this. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, and we, won't, we won't always be playing as Camille. We will be playing as like Alexia at some point as well. Because I'm going to take a picture. She looks gorgeous because he is kind of integral to this story. Um, and some of his actions are incredibly integral to this. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Let's, let's dance together. You know, let's... This, we're gonna pretend this is a Downworlders club right now, and they are all here at the same time. And usually at Downworlders club, there's a lot of dancing and music, and, um, can I... 
Oh, everything's on. I just wish, like, the fog was a little bit thicker. Um, and there's usually some sort of illegal activity going on. Oh, no, this is going to make Alexi very angry. To see them flirting in public. He's also a very jealous sim. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alexi is feeling it right now. I'm not sure what he's planning on going to do, but uh, I'm a little worried. But she's gonna let's uh, let's talk to Magnus. Let's recall our mortal life with Magnus. He is a warlock. Um, obviously we don't quite have that right now. But um, use your imagination. Let's complain about sunlight to him. I'm not sure where Alexi wandered off to. Oh gosh, is he out here biting people now? Cause we made him angry. Oh my gosh, he is. Alexi, you're just biting townspeople. <laughs> um, all right then. That's that's fun. See what I said about him not being a nice guy? This is why. This is the kind of stuff that he does. This is Alexi. Um, this is kind of the perfect introduction into his character, actually. <laughs> um, but since my timer went off, I am gonna go ahead and end this part here. Uh, I don't know if it was boring to you guys. I'm really excited about telling this story and writing these episodes down and getting this fun for you guys. I feel like this can get really involved all while exploring the new vampire game pack. Um, I hope you like this idea. Um, let me know what you think. I think it's going to be a good time. I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I'm so stoked for this. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!